What's up guys? Uh, the Grego Shedi here back with another lightsaber twirl tutorial. Today we are going to be working on the obi and the obi flow. With the obi it's actually really easy. All you need to know is a basic twirl and I will show you up close and personal on how to do the spin properly. You have your saber in front of you and you want to start in your dominant hand, swiping up horizontally towards your dominant hand. So you're doing a basic twirl away from you. And as you do the basic twirl, you let go of the saber, let it fall back, swipe it horizontally behind your back, and bring it pointing down. And so it will be any, but if you want to continue it, you just bring it in front of you and just keep the spin going. So it's continuous. Alright, so now that you successfully know how to do the Obi Annie spin, we're going to do the Obi Annie. So instead of, instead of coming back to the Obi Annie, so start an Obi Annie, instead of continuing the Obi Annie, when you get around here, you're actually bringing your saber up for another upward twirl. And then after the upward twirl, you bring it back here. And this is where you can continue the Obi Annie flourish. So here's just a close up of what I'm doing with my uh, Obi Annie flourish. So Obi Annie, don't continue the Obi Annie, come in front of your body, upward twirl, transition, upward twirl, transition, and then add some speed once you get the movement down. All right, now you know how to do the Obi Annie flourish. So now that you know the OB Annie and the OB Annie Flourish, it's time to know that this, these two spins can actually help with your attacks. So I'm going to show you a couple possible attacks that you can start with using these two spins. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully this helped you learn the OB Annie spin and the OB Annie flourish. Just practice these movements and then after you do the spins, see if you can do attacks after you do the spin.